Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. I still don't have an intro, so this is the intro. As promised, I am here with the new house tour here in Montana, so buckle up and get ready. But before we get started, I want to give a big thank you to Helix Sleep for sponsoring today's video. I'm super excited to chat more about them in the future, but right now, if you're looking for a new mattress and you want to get up to $200 off your order and two free pillows, free shipping, 100 night sleep guarantee, you can go to helixsleep.com slash Daniel Prada, which will be linked down below, and take the sleep quiz, and you'll get matched up with your perfect Helix mattress. Helix is incredible. I've been sleeping on their mattresses for years, so if you're looking for a new mattress, definitely check them out and we'll chat more about them later but right now I have Monty in the back I also have my paddleboard I got an inflatable paddleboard paddleboard and I'm so obsessed let's go check out the new condo if you guys didn't see my last video with my life update I told you that I am moving from my house here in Montana to a new condo due to some really annoying issues more about that in my last video that will also be linked down below but I'm super excited to see it I did a walkthrough but it just got cleaned and and I believe it's getting painted next week. I still have my current house right now until October, so I kind of have like a month of overlap with this place. So I'm gonna be slowly moving things in, but it's a clean slate, super excited, and I'm super excited to show you guys. So let's go take a new empty house tour. Oh, Monty, we're here, what do you think? Shall we go see our new house? See the condo? All right, let's get in here. All right, so here we are at the front door. We have a little entryway mirror. So there's a bunch of furniture in here that will be sold. The previous owner left stuff here. Not my style. I do like this mirror though. This is cute. This can stay. Also, this is my little tote bag I'm traveling with. You guys know I love a tote bag and I like this one because it like zips up and has all these pockets on the inside. It's great. So, okay. Machi, what are you doing? So we have a little coat rack here. I actually don't mind this. This is actually pretty cute. This can stay as well. In here, there is a boiler room. Kind of spooky, ooky, kooky. But a shoe rack, which is great. Oh, there's another rack here. So there's storage. And then in here, this is actually, I parked outside, but this is the garage. So, got the Montana car in here, and then my car's out there. All this furniture was here. This is all being sold. It was just like left. Just not my style, but cute. Just not my style like that. Never. Going back in. Hi babes. Hi babes. Okay, so it's a condo. I've never lived in a condo actually, so it's set up differently. It's actually quite tall and pretty skinny, so there seems to be a bedroom downstairs, then there's stairs up, main living area, and then another little upstairs loft. So we're gonna look at the first bedroom. I haven't decided if I'm gonna live here or if I'm gonna be on the second floor, but let's take a look. This one is technically the main bedroom, so we'll see. So we go in here, I was here actually last night, so I had like a little setup because I don't have my mattress yet. This is not my bed, again, this came with the place. The former owner just did not have the time to move it. This is not my style. We'll be getting rid of, definitely getting rid of these curtains. They don't even touch the floor, Oh, You know a straight man lives here. There are these nice blackout shades, so these will probably stay, but I'll just keep them. Up. But it's a good sized room. Really, really simple. There's no customizations. I mean, really, really simple. So I can do a lot to this room. There's also this really, oh, my stuff's in there. But there's this really big closet with lots of storage. And then my bathroom here, very, very simple. Like not a lot going on whatsoever. Not very cute, but has a lot of storage, which is nice. Yeah, just pretty standard. This one has a shower, upstairs is the bathroom. I'm gonna go upstairs, so this artwork's not gonna stay, but it's kinda cute. My Fish Montana is where I'm at. The floors are like a gray wood situation, which I'm not a huge fan of that gray anymore, but it is what it is. So we're gonna head up here, hallway. Everything was just cleaned yesterday. I'm having cleaners come again. Definitely needs a moment. Nice laundry situation, new washer dryer. These are great, these are really nice. Again, like I love all these hooks and storage and things. And then this is the kitchen. It's like open concept. So this is definitely going, this is dining room table's going, that's going. I love this little nook area, but kitchen's nice, it's big bright. Again, not my style, but we can really flip this and make it cute. I just love how light it is. These light bulbs need to be changed, but the lights aren't bad. I don't mind the lights, but I don't like the, the bulbs. And then this is the living room. The ceilings are huge. 
It's very like loft style. There's this exposed air duct, which is kind of in style. Big windows. Definitely these are going, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here, babes. Uh, but I like the shelving, this is cute. This is gone, I can't. And the chairs are definitely gone. And then you go out here and there's a little balcony area. You have the view of the mountains, which is cute. Yeah, not a ton going on out here. I don't know why this is here, but this is definitely going as well. And then another bedroom is here. I do not like carpet, but they love carpet here in Montana. But honestly, it's really nice. It's a nice size. Again, all these, these, <laughs> these gotta go vibes. This is not my vibe, but it is blackout. Those are nice. Nice big closet. This could fit a queen or a king. I think I'll put a king in here. And then we go upstairs. I love this exposed wood and I love the railings. So here is like another little area, like a loft. So I'm thinking this will definitely go. I'm thinking we'll do like a projection screen there and then another couch here and maybe rip out this rug. I'm not 100% sure yet. But yeah, that's kind of like the vibe of the condos here. But look at all this space, it's so bright. It's brand new. Okay, quick little break to take a moment and talk about today's video sponsor, which is Helix Sleep. If you guys have not heard of Helix Sleep, first of all, you must have because I'm a long form partner with them. Helix Sleep is my absolute favorite. I've been sleeping on their mattresses for years. They're super easy. All you have to do is go to helixsleep.com slash Daniel Prada if you guys are in the market for a brand new mattress. You can get up to $200 off your order and two free pillows free shipping, 100 night sleep guarantee. They also have a 10 year warranty and financing options are available. So a great night's sleep is never that far away. So they have this amazing thing called the Helix Sleep Quiz. You go online, you input all your information, your height, if you sleep alone, if you sleep on your side, all your specifications, and Helix actually sets you up with the perfect mattress for you. For me, that was the Helix Midnight Lux. I am obsessed. I've been sleeping on it for two plus years now. All my friends have one, all my family has one, and they're so comfortable. I'm a side sleeper and I sleep really, really hot, so it was really important for me to get a mattress that caters to the way that I sleep because sleep is king. You know, we start our day in bed and we end our day in bed. It's really important to get restful, great sleep for your body so you can be gorgeous from the inside out. So while I wait for my new Helix mattress to arrive, it's coming here today. I'm gonna show you guys just how easy it was for me to set up my new mattress right when it got to my door. See, super easy. So if you guys are interested in getting $200 off plus two free pillows and all that good stuff that I mentioned before, make sure to go to helixsleep.com slash Daniel Prada for 20% off. You get the two free pillows, you get the free shipping, you get the warranty, you get the 100 night sleep guarantee, which means if you're not happy after that trial period, Helix will pick up your mattress for free and give you your money back, no questions asked, or they can set you up with a new mattress. All right, now back to the video. Personally, I don't really like brand new. I've never lived in anything brand new. I've always lived in like old and decrepit and made it like cute. Like my place in LA is like from the 40s, but it's nice. I won't have to do that much work and I can really focus on the design and stuff. And honestly, I'm lucky to even have found a place given the circumstances and like the housing issues here. I'm not sitting down on this couch, but I'm kind of into it. It's cute. What do you guys think? I'm lucky. I'm lucky to have found a place and it's big, it's beautiful and Honestly, I can turn it and make it into something really magical. Let's check out the appliances actually real quick. I do wish this was a gas range. I don't use microwaves, but it seems like a nice one. Fridge, nice enough. I mean, oh, did I show you guys the bathroom? This is the second bathroom. Simple. Stunning reflection. This one has the bath, so we'll need to add like a rod here. And then this is storage. You guys know I have a lot of skincare, which will be great. But yeah, what do you think, Monty? It's pretty damn cute, huh? Well, I mean, I'm I'm very into it. It has so much light. The AC's fantastic. Great location, still near the mountain and everything. I mean, it's not the house, 
which is really unfortunate, but that can always happen in the future, right babes? And I'm still gonna be in between LA and Montana, so I think there won't be a ton of upkeep, which is great. If you haven't watched my life update video, that went up the other day, I'm just feeling weird, you know? I'm feeling unsettled. The next couple months will be, again, another transition. I'm really tired of the transitional phases, I'm done. I would just like to be fully settled and happy where I'm at and content, but I just feel like, <sighs> I don't know how to explain it. I just like, you know when you feel good, but you also feel like shit, but you're also grateful to be here and to have what you have, but also like nothing is working out. It's just, I call it, what was I saying the other day? It's just like indifference. You guys know what I mean. It's just like, you're neither here nor there. You're just kind of like floating in a way. And I think that's like the worst feeling to have. I'm not fully happy in LA. I haven't been for a very long time. I'm happy here, but also it's hard to make friends and I am traveling so much with work stuff that I can't really root myself anywhere. So I'm just kind of waiting for something to like bite me in the ass and keep me here or there. I made some great friends, like I mentioned before, kind of recently. And that group of guys is like the one like thing that would keep me there. But I don't think it's enough because I'm not, I'm just really not the happiest there. And I think I can be in LA whenever I need to. That's kind of what I've been doing, but I can't keep going back and forth so much with the dog. It's just not fair to them. And you know, it's super stressful just to be driving all the time. Cause you guys know I love driving, but it's exhausting. Just like racking miles up on the car. We'll see. Leave a comment down below. Let me know where you guys think you see me more. I mean, I know I see myself in LA and I see myself here. I'd like to do both, but I would like to do like a true six months here and a true six months there. But it's just hard. Just have a lot of immersion. But it's all right, it's gonna be great. You know what I mean? We're all gonna be fine. Well, that is it for the house tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like this video, leave a comment down below and subscribe. There will be so many new videos coming up and leave a comment down below and let me know what kind of content you guys wanna see from me moving into the future. Is it more home decor stuff? Is it more sit down stuff, more haul stuff? I feel like I'm at my best, actually my friend, Kalel mentioned this the other day. She was like, I think you're best conversational because I cannot fake this. Like I need to talk to you guys, but also I feel like a psycho talking to a camera and nobody else is around. Cause I'm just like, I'm better as a produced person on set. I'm better conversational. I'm better like in a group. I just like need somebody to bounce off of, but I mean, I'm bouncing off of you guys, right? Like we're talking, we're having a good time. I hope you have a snack. I hope you're enjoying this playing in the background. But yeah, I'm just kind of like, there's so many things I want to do. Like I mentioned in my life catch up video, like I just feel alone all the time. And it's weird to do all of that when you're alone. It just doesn't seem normal to me. I'm such a people person. I like to be around people. People. I like to bounce off people's energy. I like to make people laugh. But if any of you guys are feeling the same way, know that you're you're not alone. I'm here with you. I feel alone a lot of the time and I'm sad a lot of the time, but also I'm happy a lot of the time. It's just, some ain't right vibes. Some ain't right. Anyways, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to show all the love down below in the comments, like the video. And if you feel so inclined, follow me over on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, all at Mr. Prada. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I still don't have an outro, so yes, this is the outro. Bye.